In our last three videos, we made rocket fuel using honey, molasses, and brown rice syrup. Today, we're going to compare the results of all those fuels and see how they perform against the standard fuel with corn syrup. Hello and welcome to Rotary Rocketry. Today is the final video in our series of testing alternatives for corn syrup and rocket fuel. If you haven't seen the previous three videos in the series, there are links down in the description. In this video, we'll take a closer look at making the fuels, ground testing, and the rocket launches to see how they compare. Hey, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the like button. We really appreciate it. So a little bit of information about the sugar rocket fuel that we typically make. It contains 18% corn syrup. Having a liquid product as part of the fuel makes it a lot easier to mix together and makes the fuel easier to pour into a motor or into casting molds. But because corn syrup is not easy to find in some parts of the world, we set out to see if there were some other products that would work just as well. The three we tested were honey, molasses, and brown rice syrup. I chose these three sugar products mainly because of their low water content, typically below 30%. I do want to mention a few other sugar products that we considered for this project but didn't test. Glucose syrup, agave syrup, and golden syrup. Even though we didn't include these in the project, I think they would perform well in rocket fuel due to their low water content and high sugar content. Now I had also considered beet sugar syrup and white rice syrup, but my research showed that these can contain high water content. So for that reason, we chose not to include them in the project. So let's take a look at the fuel cooking and pouring process. The corn syrup, molasses, and brown rice syrup fuels were all very similar in consistency, but the honey fuel was noticeably different. It was definitely thinner and more runny. Now, I'm not saying that was a bad thing. In fact, having it thinner made it easier to pour into the motor. Then we moved on to ground testing. Here I have the three alternative fuel motors on the test stand. I've synchronized these videos so the three motors all begin putting out thrust at the same time. I'll play it in real time. Take a look at the burn rate of the three motors. Did you notice that? The burn times were basically identical. That was something I didn't expect at all. Since they each contain different types of sugars and different quantities of sugars, I expected to see at least a tiny difference in burn rate, but they were basically identical. Now let's take a look at the liftoffs. Here's the rocket with the three alternative fuels. I've synchronized these videos so that the three rockets start moving at the same time. All right, so just off the top of the launch rod, Honey is in the lead with brown rice syrup close behind and molasses is getting off to the slowest start, but still very close. So the big question, how did they perform in total flight altitude? Well, first we need a baseline, a goal to shoot for. We've launched that rocket a couple of times with the standard corn syrup fuel, and it's flown between 700 and 900 feet. The honey fuel flew to 720 feet, definitely in the range we were looking for. The molasses fuel went to 620 feet. However, that launch was not straight up. Unfortunately, after the rocket left the rod, it tipped off about 15 degrees and flew off at an angle. This may have been because it wasn't moving quite as fast as the others. That rocket doesn't have a very high stability factor, so it's not quite as stable at slower speeds. I did some quick math and I estimate that the rocket probably would have gone to about 650 feet if it had gone straight up. So we'll give it 650 feet for altitude. And then the brown rice syrup flew to an impressive 780 feet. So now that we've looked at all that information, is there a clear winner or a clear loser? Well, bear in mind that we only launched one rocket with one motor, and we only launched each of these alternative fuels one time. So we don't actually have a lot of data. But if we're just looking at maximum altitude, then clearly the brown rice syrup performed the best and the molasses performed the worst. But in my opinion, honey is the real winner in this experiment for a couple of reasons. First off, worldwide availability. It's available just about everywhere. Second, I really liked the way that it was easier to pour into the motor. And finally, even though it may not have flown as high as the brown rice syrup, it certainly got the rocket into the range that we wanted. 
Hey, if you've made it this far into the video and you're still not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button too. I had a lot of fun testing these new fuels and I hope you enjoyed the entire series. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.